I've seen it. I've seen it. It's great. It's great. How many, how many times have you watched that thing? <laughs> This week on the Star Wars Show, Andy sits down with Chewbacca mom Candace Payne. We hit the streets of San Francisco for some Star Wars impressions and much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hello, I'm Peter Townley. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. Welcome to the Star Wars Show, the only show on the internet whose title was almost Han Solo. Show Dameron was taken. My vote was for C3P Show. Show be one Kenobi. Let's break some news then, huh? First up in news, have you seen the key art for Star Wars Celebration London yet? No, but I have a feeling you're about to reveal it. It's like you're reading my thoughts off of a teleprompter. Yes, the Star Wars show is proud to reveal the key art for Star Wars Celebration right now. The art features the cast of The Force Awakens looking quite stoic, and below them is a gorgeous rendering of the characters from Rogue One. Aside from the cast, there's also a squadron of Death Troopers, the black armored troopers we saw in the trailer. And down below on the left is your first clear look at the brand new Shore Trooper. Also on the poster are a new class of AT-ATs called AT-ACT, which stands for All-Terrain Armored Cargo Transport. Rogue One news confirmed! Boom! News high five! And switching over to comics now, because it's Wednesday, Andy, new comic book day, and the first pages for Marvel's Star Wars The Force Awakens adaptation were unveiled today! Written by Aftermath's Chuck Wendig with art by Luke Ross, the six-issue comic will be available on store shelves June 22nd. Speaking of TFA, The Force Awakens soundtrack is being re-released on a special vinyl album that features Get this, a hologram projection of wow. the Millennium Falcon on one side and a TIE Fighter on the other. We're living in the future, Andy! These super cool holograms are created through a series of etchings that when exposed to light from above, reveal the image while the record is playing. Pre-orders for the album are available right now with a limited number of copies available for purchase at Star Wars Celebration in London. Shifting gears to these cool bands Peter and I are wearing, Ashley Eckstein from Star Wars Rebels and Clone Wars is kicking off the latest Kid Power mission with UNICEF and Force for Change. Each Kid Power band helps you deliver food packages to children in need, and this year they're adding the stylish green band Ooh. as well. You can find out more about the campaign and get one of these fancy new Kid Power bands by visiting unicefkidpower.org. Finally, by now you're no doubt one of the tens of millions of people who saw Candace Payne's video on Facebook <laughs> of her laughing in a Chewbacca mask. She's been everywhere this week. Good morning America, riding by at Facebook and now she's here at Lucasfilm. But before I sit down with her in the studio, we hit the streets of San Francisco to see if anyone can do a decent Chewbacca impression. Huh. Okay. A little more lumpy than Chewy. Hello, Matt Lieb here in San Francisco. Chewbacca is one of my favorite Star Wars characters, especially his voice. So we decided to go around asking people to give us their best impression of Chewbacca. Check it out. Give me your best Chewbacca impression. Yeah. I can. <laughs> that sounded like just a, a hamster caught in like a bear trap. That was like a really soulful cat. <laughs> just. Uh, that is not Chewbacca. Welcome back to the Star Wars show. We have managed to snag the most popular woman in the galaxy right now, Candace Payne, also known as the Chewbacca Mask Lady. How has your week been going? Crazy. Cra yeah, of course. Crazy. crazy. One word, crazy. I still don't even believe I'm in my body sometimes. <laughs> like, I'm walking around going, okay, this is real and I need to breathe in. Breathe out and enjoy every minute. Yeah. Is this your first time in San Francisco? Absolutely. So you got to come and see Lucasfilm, Into the Heart of the Beast. What, what, what was your favorite part of the tour that we just went on? Okay, I loved the painted map in E.T. Oh, yeah. It just brings you back to nostalgia and your childhood. I'm telling you, Lucasfilm has done something remarkable to where it's brought story into sci-fi. And it makes me it makes me drawn to it on a heart level to where I, I love the characters. And you feel, man, I'm, this can't even exist. But yet I feel like it does. And right. I need to protect it and shield it and save it and sometimes hug it, you know. <laughs> and sometimes just shout it from the rooftop. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So is the whole family Star Wars fans? Yes. Yeah, I saw a picture yes. that you, you dressed up for Halloween last year. You were Yoda, I right? was Yoda. 
My Your husband was Chewbacca. My husband was Chewbacca. Uh, I'll tell you the cutest moment ever. My son also has the exact same kid version of the onesie. So I, I woke up and go to the living room and I see them snuggling on the couch together and they're both in their Chewbacca onesies. And I was like, I don't think my heart has ever been more <laughs> full in my life. That's probably one of the best things you can walk out to. You're yes, like, nice. my two favorite guys in the whole world dressed as Chewbacca. It's like the great, I, I just wanted Wookiee love right then. I was like, come here. Have you been a Star Wars fan, you know, since forever? No. No. You're relatively new? Relatively. That's cool. My husband and I got married almost 15 years ago, and I had never seen any of them. He actually introduced it to me, and I was like, why in the world haven't I seen this? This is amazing. We went to the movie theater and saw episode one, two, and three. And I remember that was one of our coolest dates, is just sitting in this sports bar, and we were just holding hands watching Revenge of the Sith. And I'm telling you, those are the moments that you think back and you go, That's why nice. are we so drawn to this dynasty of films? It's it's incredible storytelling. It's incredible imagination. It makes you feel like a kid. Yeah. But it also makes you get wrapped in a saga like never before. I mean, this has been a crazy, crazy whirlwind for you. In all honesty, when the lights go, when this experience ends... The thing I'm going to remember most is a moment that happened in my kitchen on Friday when it broke about 30 million views. I turned off everything that had a ding or a notification. Oh my God, that must have been. <laughs> I was intense. I had to be very intentional to not look. And I just got face down on my kitchen floor and I said, thank you, God. I don't know what's happening right now, but thank you. Well. Thank you so yeah. much for coming by and spending some time with us. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you. Seriously. And we wish you all the best. My pleasure. <laughs> Studio got decorated pretty quickly. We use the force. It's not how the force works. It is. Okay. Last week, we asked you to send us your Star Wars themed cakes to help celebrate the 39th anniversary of the release of A New Hope, and you did not disappoint. We got pictures of BB cakes, Yoda cakes, R2 cakes, Millennium Falcon cakes, there was a Sarlacc pit cake with Boba Fett falling into it, and even a couple of Death Star cakes. Which inspired us to get our own Death Star cake to not only celebrate the 39th anniversary of Star Wars, but Frank Oz's birthday, Peter Mayhew's birthday, and the maker himself, George Lucas's birthday. Thank the maker. Yeah. But wait, there's more. We even have our own celebrity guest cake cutter. Please welcome to the Star Wars show from down the hall at Industrial Light and Magic, special effects pioneer and original Star Wars crew member, Dennis Murin. Yeah. Thank, you, thank you. Welcome to the show, Dennis. Yeah, yeah nice place here. Thank yeah. you. Dennis, do you think you could stop by again next week for an interview on the couch? Uh, if fans can ask me questions, sure. So that means you can tweet your questions for Dennis using the hashtag Star Wars Show Asks or leave them in the comments below and Dennis might just answer them next week. And as always, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And for more Star Wars, check out StarWars.com. See you next week. This week, the Star Wars Show. Andy sits down with the band Churches. We take a trip to Japan.